So in the balance view training, what we're really introduced to and learning to trust in our own experience is our own innate wisdom. Our own capacity to live as an open-hearted, relaxed, potent human being. And um, the place where we find that capacity to live as a as an authentic human being is in open intelligence. And open intelligence, and open intelligence isn't anything mysterious. It isn't anything far off and uh, out of reach. It's the intelligence that's looking through your eyes right now. So just pause your thinking. Stop thinking for a moment. Just relax your mind and your body. And allow yourself just to notice the intelligence that's looking through your eyes. The intelligence that is aware of these words, that hears, that sees, that feels, that thinks. Just allow yourself to notice it right here and right now. Now this intelligence is always the basis of our experience. It had just simply gone unnoticed. So it's always been there. You don't have to do anything to get it. No one can give it to you. No one can take it away. It's just a question of noticing it and becoming familiar with it. And this is the training that you will find in Balance View. Now part of the training is the terminology that we use and the terminology itself is um, very important and very key. So we make everything very simple. We break down a complicated system of descriptive frameworks into its basic constituent parts which is open intelligence that we've just identified, the intelligence that's looking through your eyes right now and then we can say that there are data that shine forth from open intelligence. So data is a term that can be used to describe any experience, anything that you're experiencing right now, any thought, any emotion, any physical sensation, any experience at all, rather than having a whole range of complicated descriptive frameworks that need to be thought about we can just simply recognize right here and right now that there is open intelligence naturally present shining forth all of this data. Now that just makes it very, very simple. We can understand our own experience in a really simple way and in a way that empowers us to make the most of our experience. And the way that we make the most of our experience in a way that is of immediate benefit to ourselves and other people is to recognize with whatever your present moment perception is that it arises in, of, as and through open intelligence and is inseparable from open intelligence in the same way that the color blue is inseparable from the sky. Now the only place that we have the opportunity to recognize data shining forth from open intelligence is in this present moment. So your current thoughts, emotion, sensation, your current description of what's going on is where you will find open intelligence. This is the present moment data. And what is a key point in this recognition is to see that simply by allowing the data, this stream of experience to be exactly as it is, just for a short moment everything opens up, our perspective broadens, there is a spaciousness and ease and a potency and an, alert and an alertness that is automatically present just by relaxing and allowing everything to be as it is. So open intelligence is clear and wide open like a sky. We can't find any edge or limit or boundary to it. 
And by allowing the data just to naturally self-release, the openness and the piercing clarity of our sky-like intelligence naturally becomes more and more obvious. And it's very important to recognize the relationship between data and open intelligence. So data, your thoughts, emotions and sensations, are the dynamic energy of open intelligence. They are the liveliness of, of open intelligence. They are the beneficial potency of open intelligence. They're not something that we have to try and manipulate, control, analyze or do something with. And this is something that we discover for ourselves just by allowing them to be exactly as they are, one short moment at a time. And what happens when we allow the data just to be as they are, for one short moment at a time, is that the beneficial potency that is within the data is extracted. And practically what that means is that all of the information that we need as to how in each moment we can respond in a way that is an expression of pure open-hearted benefit is seen when we allow the data to be exactly as they are. We become clearer, we become smarter, we become more open-hearted, we become more relaxed and at ease and we know exactly what to say and what to do in each circumstance that will be of most benefit to all. Now when I first heard this, this sounded like it was all very well, but I didn't really understand how this related to me and my experience. And the instruction on the suggestion and the invitation here is to show up, come to some open meetings, listen to some talks that are free to download from the website or from the media table at the back of the meeting, and see what happens just by gently participating in what's offered here in the pace that suits you. No rush, no hurry. And so that's what I did. I started to listen to talks. I came back to open meetings. And I began to see this incredible change in my life. I began to notice more and more ease in situations where previously there had only been tension and discomfort. And this came about very naturally just by the simple recognition that whatever was occurring was data shining forth from open intelligence. And by recognizing this clearly and instinctively in the direct encounter with each datum, suddenly my intelligence began to open out. Or what was really happening was the recognition that my intelligence was already wide open and I was simply recognizing the way that things had always been. And this is why it's such a gentle, organic process. It's not something that we need to work hard at. It's not something to try and grasp and understand. It's the settling into our complete beneficial potency as a human being. So when we allow the data to be as they are, rather than trying to squeeze them into all of our conventional descriptive frameworks about what they mean and how we need to deal with them, their definition expands. Their definition suddenly becomes that of what will be of most benefit, effortlessly and immediately, simply by allowing them to be exactly as they are. So by the recognition of the true nature of our data, as the dynamic energy of open intelligence, suddenly the data become our key to what will be the most powerful and beneficial way to respond in each situation and in each relationship. So rather than being a victim to the data in a relationship, all of the ideas that we might have about that person, about that relationship, all of the feelings and thoughts that that relationship brings up within us, positive, negative and neutral. So that would include irritation, anger, boredom, 
dismissing someone, superiority, inferiority, and placing the emphasis on these data when we relate to someone, and relating through this whole framework, this whole mesh of ideas and concepts, all of this data, emphasizing it as if it could be found to have a nature independent from open intelligence. Instead, we allow the data just to be exactly as they are, and everything opens up. We have the possibility then of relating from a perspective of complete openness of perception in each situation. We've given up the right to be a victim to any of this data. And we see that we choose how we live our lives. We choose. Nobody chooses for us anymore. This is complete empowerment. This is authentic human being. Really claiming this power for ourselves one short moment at a time. And it means that we can now honour our relationships in a way that before certainly wasn't possible for me. So I had certain people in my life that were very dear and very special to me. But the data that would rage in those relationships was so compelling and so overwhelming that even with the most pure desire to have that relationship look a certain way, I wanted my relationships to be loving and easy and open-hearted. That was my intention. The reality was very rarely like that, even with the best intention. And that was because I was lacking this fundamental understanding as to the nature of intelligence. I believed that the data had the power over me and dictated and informed how I had to be in that relationship. So I, when I felt irritated by somebody, that irritation would inform the way that I would relate to them. Whether I loved them or not, the irritation had the power to inform the whole way that that relationship looked. By allowing the irritation to be exactly as it is, I saw that it had no power over me. It was the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And that was recognized by directly encountering all of the data one moment at a time. Becoming real with myself, seeing everything that I felt, allowing myself to feel it, allowing myself to think it, allowing myself to sense it without flinching in any way the whole way relying on open intelligence and the rest of the support that's offered here. And in this way, all of the relationships become empowered. But I also see that the capacity I have to relate in an open-hearted way and in a, love, in a loving way, and in a way that expresses the love that I've always felt, is not limited just to these particular group of people in my life. Whereas previously that had seemed the case. There were certain people, my family and my close friends, and these were the people that I was safe to feel love for, that it was safe to like and to want to spend time with. And because I was relating previously based on all of my data, I could come up with an endless string of descriptions about why I couldn't trust other people to love, about why I didn't want to spend time with other people, about how they weren't part of my life, they weren't interesting. This whole list of descriptions. And that's the way I'd been trained. So what was necessary was a, a really clear and direct training for me to see what I was actually capable of, what it really meant to be a human being, what the nature of my intelligence actually was. And that's what I found in the Balanced View training. It wasn't some vague description about the nature of reality, or even some beautiful statement about the nature of reality. It was a very clear and concise and systematic training in the nature of intelligence, in the nature of mind, that I could participate in. I could choose to train up this capacity within myself, to recognize the nature of reality exactly as it was in each moment, and to live from there, making powerful, clear decisions about how I want to live my life more and more sensitive to everything else that was going on, what everyone else was thinking and feeling, but at the same time more and more stable and certain in exactly how I want to live. So this relaxed openness was seen to be 
inseparable from the potency and power of making really clear, beneficial decisions. And I saw that this was something that I really wanted. I wanted to feel more at ease, I wanted to feel more intelligent, I wanted to feel more capable of making powerful, beneficial decisions. And the more I participated in this training, that's what I found, it was as simple as that. So I was like, yeah, come on, give me more, that's what I want. I want to understand what's going on, I want to understand myself, I want to understand what all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations really mean. What's going on here? What's this life all about? And the more I immersed myself, the more keenly I saw all of this. Like being on the top of a mountain and seeing everything clearly. Whereas previously I'd been at the bottom of a valley, surrounded by these huge walls of data. All of this learned knowledge. All of these concepts and ideas and belief systems that seemed to cage me in and restrict me. All the while knowing that there was something more, there was something missing. Deeply knowing that in myself, but frustrated because I didn't know how to access that. I'd had glimpses of it, but those glimpses were tantalizing and frustrating because they never lasted. And yet here was something that allowed me to integrate it into my everyday life. The four mainstays, the support network of balanced view. This was the method that allowed me to integrate it into my everyday life in a really simple way. Listening to talks as I went to sleep, or as I did my cooking. Taking short moments, spending time with other people that were also interested and committed to giving up the right to be a victim and to recognizing and relying on open intelligence. Developing a relationship with a trainer. These are the four mainstays. The short moments, the trainings, the powerful global community and the relationship with the trainer. And all of these give a guaranteed result of increasing confidence in open intelligence and the ability to express beneficial potency in everything that you do and say. So this is the guarantee that was given to me when I arrived and um, it seemed a bit outrageous and a bit far-fetched but I was open enough to check it out. I'm very glad I did. <laughs>